Do you remember that girl that was missing a year ago that they never found? Yeah. Carla Hunter? Yeah, look, Tom, I don't know how to tell you this, but... What's wrong, Jack? You know, about a year ago, I was driving home from work. Late. I tried all those things they say keep you awake. Rolling down the window, turning on the radio. They didn't work. I was still falling asleep. Oh, God. I could not stay awake. I should have pulled over. <laughs> but I, I really thought I could make it home. <laughs> I just kept on driving. And all of a sudden, she walked out in front of me. I didn't see her. And I hit her. Oh, God. <laughs> I immediately got out and ran over to her. She couldn't have been more than 18 years old. I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't in my right mind. I wasn't thinking. I took her body. And I threw it in the river. Are you serious? Yes. That's why I called you over here. I wouldn't make this up. This thing has been on my conscience for over a year now. I see her face when I go to sleep at night. I see her face everywhere I go. It's as if she's coming back to get me. You know that things like this can never happen, don't you? Yes, I know that. It just feels like it, though. Do you think you're helping your conscience by telling me this? Oh, God, I hope so. I can't keep this bottled up inside me forever. I really don't know what I would have done. I just thought that it would make me feel better. Well, don't tell anybody else. And I won't tell anybody. You can trust me. We're friends. <laughs> Thanks. But I just don't feel right anymore. You know, I feel so bad. It's so terrible. It's the worst thing I ever did. I can't believe I didn't tell anyone else or tell on myself. I just kept it locked up inside of me. This is so terrible. It's the worst thing in the entire world. I just want some way to... to... to make it all go away. It was more than just not being able to hear anything or make contact with anyone. It was as though, as though for a time I didn't exist, as though I had no place in the world, no part of the life around me. And then you saw this, this man. Yes. You'll excuse my back, but I wanted to get some of that written down. I must have been talking for an hour. Anything else? Anything you haven't told me? That's all there is. That's the whole story. He's been following me. That's all there is to it. It isn't that simple, though, is it? What do you mean? He could hardly have been in the park this afternoon, or one of us men would have seen him. And that night in the hallway, you said yourself the landlady came up a minute later, and she didn't see him, did she? What are you driving at? It's been less than a week since you were in a car that crashed into the river. How you got out of that, no one seems to know. But that experience must have been a serious emotional shock. You think I imagined all of it, don't you? You think I'm insane? I didn't say that. I don't mean that. I'm a competent person. If anything, I'm a realist. I'm not given to imagining anything. 
Hogwash. All of us imagine things. Have you never heard two men talking behind your back and imagined they were talking about you? Have you never imagined you saw someone you knew and walked up to them and found they were a perfect stranger? I don't see what this has to do with it. The point is this. Our imaginations play tricks on us. They often misinterpret what we see and hear. Do you agree? I suppose so. If that can happen in ordinary times, go a step further. Look what can happen in a high fever or following a serious emotional shock. It doesn't seem possible that I could have imagined all of it. Does this man, this figure, resemble anyone you've ever known? An acquaintance? Or your father? No. You have a boyfriend here or back home? No, and I have no desire for one. Never? No. I'm surprised to find myself saying that. But it's true. I have no desire for the close company of other people. Have you always felt this way? I, I don't know. Don't you want to join in the things that other people do? Share the experiences of other people? I don't seem capable of being very close to people. I, I do feel that perhaps I, I'm trying to reach out for those other things. Do you feel guilty wanting them? I, I don't understand you. I'm not a psychiatrist, and, and perhaps I'm being clumsy at all this. But I am suggesting that perhaps this figure represents a guilt feeling. Oh, that's ridiculous. Maybe. Frankly, I don't know. Well, I know one thing. My imagination is playing tricks on me. I'm going to put a stop to it. You're a very strong-willed person, aren't you? I survived, if that's what you mean. That old pavilion out by the lake. Somehow you associate it with all this, don't you? I could go out there. I could put an end to that, too. I could go out Now, there. don't be hasty. If it is all my imagination, I could put a stop to it. Maybe, but at least someone should be with you. Now, I can't possibly As you say, Doctor, out. I'm a person of strong will. And the time to go out there is now. And if I have to, I can go alone.
sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Please, it was just an accident, please. Please. I thought I could get away from you. Just leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. the fourth floor? Yeah, there's a murder in the fourth floor in room 401. You better, are you the manager of this place? I, I'm the assistant. You better get that floor closed off as soon as possible because I think there might still be someone up there. Thank you. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Thank you.